W. What it's like to be finished. Personal goals. Also, I won't make a post about this thing I'm writing now. The Shadowlands dev update as of the 9th of September 2020. I'm happy with some of the changes, but I'm disappointed by the covenant change. They are not pulling the ripcord. Whilst I'm glad you can switch to another covenant on the fly, I think going back to the one you were in, with a fucking cooldown, is stupid. I don't get why we need this friction involved. So what can I do when say, I'm doing Castle Nathraya, where I need say, the Kyrian ability for boss 1. For boss 2 through 5, I can use the Maldraxxus Covenant ability. So I will switch to that. But oh, boss 6, needs Kyrian's Covenant ability. But I have to wait 2 weeks. Minimum maximuming is an issue within itself, but come on. What's the harm in switching on the fly? I fail to understand the reasons why. Prioritizing realism over fun is how you almost completely destroy a game. Because there is such a thing as being too realistic to the point where it isn't fun. Anyway, onto the topic. I'm making this to give players a look into what a new player to WoW does and what it's like to be finished with a personal goal and share what I experienced along the way. My goal when I started WoW on August 20, 2018, was to learn the lore and do quests. Later, that became more. Learning each class, learning dungeons and raids. And, making stories and transmounts for each character. And I have almost achieved that goal. I also collected mounts too. I have around 367 mounts. I'm at 99% completion so far for my goals. Whilst I have good progress, I don't want to invest any more time than I have already 174 days of playtime, which is 4176 hours. Most of those hours are farming. I'm missing 4 transmogs, including artifact appearances for balance of power, and back quote this side up which is a 16 week long time gated achievement. 4 yet more appearances. And I have some reputations, to finish with time walking rat tokens. Why was my goal so small? Because I wanted very specific transmog and mounts for each of my specs, and I've been very lucky in obtaining all these so far. I had planned out what I wanted, using the in-game dressing room, and the mounts I had collected. The biggest most confusing things about WoW so far in my experience, are time gating. Lockouts are pointless. I think that's true for current endgame too. We should keep old raids in the expansion relevant. And remove legacy lockouts. Simple. This change would respect the player's time. The other thing was players are not really appreciated. If one thing became apparent in WoW, it's that the lack of love and respect shown to players from the depths is a little disheartening. There's a difference between being seen as a player and being seen as a customer. As WoW is now, I feel like a customer. The anniversary event was really something that surprised me. Because it showed that Blizzard just want you to work for everything. Really what needed to be done was, players should have been given cosmetic gifts. Not these tokens and fireworks that had little to no value. With that out the way, there are a lot of things I like about the game. The quests are usually good. BFA knocked it out the park. The looks of the transmog and mounts in the game look amazing. Zones look pretty good for a 15 year old game with no doubt, a really old engine. And class gamma play can be really fun depending on the class. And flying. Oh how I love flying in WoW. It really gives me a nice perspective of the world and can really highlight the scale of the world, which to be honest, they do try to cover up by removing flying. That sums up the good. So what's it like to be nearly finished? Honestly, it feels good. Players say back quote what's the point in playing if you can just get everything you want whenever you want, which is kind of a strawman. I have played the game. I have got everything I want. I don't need to play anymore. And that's really the issue I have with WoW. The need. There always seems to be some barrier to entry for so many things in the game, and this is especially prevalent in BFA. Whilst I'm new to MMOs and understand the grind aspect, I still think it's weird to make an appeal to history to keep them in the game. To say back quote, that puts efforts in vain. Then you be selfish. 
you might not like the truth. Nobody does. But please, think of others for once. I've always been sharing things with people. I've helped players in the game to share kindness, in the hopes they might be kind to others as well. I helped someone with a difficult boss once. It was long ago, so I can't remember when and what it was. But there was also a guy in general chat asking if someone could help with a tough enemy whilst leveling in Legion. I helped that guy. I've done other smaller things in games which help others because it's scummy to not. If I see someone on the brink of death fighting a tough enemy, I'll hop down, taunt, and save that player. I wouldn't be opposed to sharing my collection with everyone as well. I want people to have the heavenly onyx cloud serpent, which dropped on my 300th attempt. I want players to have the time lost proto drake that, well, I got when I joined the secrets finding discord, to get most rare mounts. I also want to give players the void to learn. I don't care if those get given to them for free. I don't value the effort or time invested in the mount. I value the mount. Similarly with transmog. I want everyone to be as happy as possible. It's selfish and dangerous to pretend that we don't deserve happiness. This is a digital era. There isn't an excuse for FOMO or taking away happiness or creating happiness at the expense of pain. Now that I have more time to spend outside of WoW, I can focus on some of the hobbies I practice. Music, artwork, and writing. One of the biggest complaints I see from players who no longer play WoW is they didn't have time to play it. Whilst Sim made the point that it was their personal lives taking way too much time to play in the evening. Most of them were people who did have spare time. Most of those people are parents. Ever since I first heard those words a year and a half ago, I really believed them. I really believe it's true. Because these are working class people at the end of the day. They get up, eat breakfast, go to work, leave work hours later, go home, spend time with the kids, tuck them into bed, and oh, there's only a couple hours before they need to go to sleep. 14 hours a week might seem like a lot, but it really isn't for what WoW is. You can play casually, but you can't do as much as I do. You can't level several characters to 120 as you're also working to get ahead of the curve. You can't reliably run mythic pluses and PvP to gear up. There's so many time gates in WoW that it really doesn't make sense why someone just can't come to WoW at the end of the evening and just hop into the raid, push it as hard as they can go, and return to the lockout the next day and finish it, and then go and do something else in game or out. There is really no problem in that. And the fact is, if players are unsubscribing, then you're doing something wrong, Blizzard. It isn't the player's fault which for some reason, they think it is. It's the developers. Waiting isn't content, and neither is no content. There would be more subscriptions, if players were respected. One message to the player base I have is, stop putting words in other people's mouths. Players who are subscribed to the WoW don't necessarily want to play WoW every day or all day. This is why single player gaming is still relevant in 2020 and is more important than multiplayer games. Because people don't want a need to play a game every day. They want to take breaks and accomplish things in the said game they took a break from. Whilst in WoW, you literally have to play to get anywhere. You cannot beat a raid with low level gear. You cannot run Mythic Plus without upgrading gear. You can't collect legacy reputation mounts without logging on each day or farming. It's an absurd and unrealistic expectation that needs to be removed. Listen to the players who stopped playing, not just the players who currently play. With that in mind, please stop putting words in other players' mouths. I'm satisfied with where I'm in the game now. In Shadowlands. I'm considering getting every spec to 120. Yes, one character for each spec. I may not though, because I don't really like many other specs. I'll do Resto Druid and Shaman I think, a Prot Paladin, and a Mistweaver Monk, and that's it. Literally every other spec in the game is garbage or not fun to me. Speaking primarily about Disc Priest, Subtlety Rogue and Feral Druid. The three most unplayable specs I've played thus far in BFA. 
Widden Walker Monk 2, but I have that already. Other than that, there isn't really much to do, and I'm happy with that. I'm satisfied. I have a few instances to screenshot and videos to make for WoW, including a positive video highlighting the beauty of it.